What is happening? I'm in 64 Josh, and this is my review of Tuhu Kabuto V Burst Battle, and that is a mouthful. I want to start this review by saying I have zero background with this franchise. I did a little research, watched a little evolution of the series, and it was mainly a bullet hell style game uh, with a fighting game thrown into the mix. Not having any background with the series may have impacted my impressions on it, so I just wanted to get that uh, said beforehand. Let's jump into this thing. Graphics. I gave it a 5 out of 10. The presentation artwork is really great. Each character has great design. The gameplay graphics, sadly, don't represent the design um, of every character, and they get more chibi and a, like a cartoon look to them. They basically look like the children's version of the characters that you see like in the uh, like before the fight and stuff. So it's kind of a little bit strange to me. Uh, as far as like the levels, they're kind of flat. They kind of leave a lot to be desired. There's very little life, and they almost, to me, look like a GameCube title, or maybe even a little worse. There's just not, there's, there's just not much to them, and they don't really differ all that much between levels, other than maybe some are during the day and some are at night. So, not, not a lot there. Let's talk about sound. I gave it a 5 out of 10. The sound from the characters in-game can become obnoxious. Halfway through the first round, you're going to be like, okay, I need to turn this down. Um, each attack has the character saying something, and it gets out of hand. I could understand if, like, a super or, like, if you threw a fireball, like in Street Fighter, where they, they you know, Hadouken. But this is every attack. And uh, it's, it's too often. It's too often, and it doesn't help that the voices can be fairly shrill at times. So it's a bummer. The music is kind of hit or miss. While in-game, the battle music is upbeat and offers some variety between matches, uh, between the different matches, the music in the reading sections, like before you start a fight, is like a single bar riff that's on repeat, and it feels entirely out of place. Like it doesn't even fit in the game. It's It was just kind of a strange choice on their part. Story, gave it a 5 out of 10. Vampires, devils, and schoolgirls fighting to the death with magic. I read as much of the story as I could before I completely lost interest and would just skip and go to the next battle. Nothing about this drew me in, and none of it really seemed very interesting. Again, that may be in part to having zero background with the series. So for me, it just didn't do much. Content. Gave it an 8 out of 10. This is where this game shines. You can play through the story with every character, unlocking the ability to play through with someone else each time you complete it. You don't get to choose who you unlock or who you play with next. The game chooses for you. Uh, you have online multiplayer, but be prepared to wait. I found one other player after five minutes and didn't find anyone else after that. It could have been the time of day. It was 1030 a.m. Pacific Standard Time but I kind of have a feeling there's just not many people picking this game up. Uh, we got an arcade mode, lets you go head to head with the computer. Score attack, lets you see how high of score you can get. And uh, there, there's a lot here, if you can get into this game. There's a, there's a lot to do. Like I said, online, arcade, score attack, story. There's, there's a lot, if you like it. Controls, I gave it a 6 out of 10. The default controls for this game make it fairly difficult to play. It's essentially a third-person shooter slash fighter, but all your moves are on the face buttons, making it almost impossible to move the camera with the right stick and shoot at the same time. Thankfully, you can remap the buttons, and as you can see in the video here, I have mine set up so that I do... Um, I moved all three attacks to the triggers, and the jump and the dash, I move to the analog sticks. That allows me to keep my thumbs on the sticks at all times. So I'm able to turn and shoot and never have to take my thumb off the right stick to hit a face button. So at least they offer that. That helps. It helps. Gameplay. This is, the, this is where this game gets it's rough. Um, I gave it a 4 out of 10. With more polish and clear direction of what this game is, it may have been great. It combines multiple genres and neither seem to succeed. It's not a good fighting game and it's definitely not a good bullet hell game. Uh, this game feels dated out of the box. The way the characters interact with the environment feels like Force 3D, like Mode 7 on the SNES. 
the level moves around your character, not the other way around. And it's very apparent. It's very apparent. Um, even remapping the controls, I feel like you cannot get precise enough to make this game feel good, which is unfortunate. They, they, you can see that they've, you know, they've tried, they've tried, but it just didn't, it didn't pan out. My final score for this game, 5.5. I'm always going to commend a developer for thinking outside the box, trying new things, but somewhere along the way, he should have seen that this game was not working out as expected. Uh, maybe this game will be for some people, but it's definitely not for me. I have no background with the series, and the gameplay did not draw me in whatsoever. There is definitely talent behind the development, but the execution just falls short in my opinion. Um, if you really love this game, and you feel like I'm missing something, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and, and maybe have my mind changed about it. But as of right now, I would say pass on this one. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And remember, if you're into podcasts and you like Nintendo games, to so check out the Nintendo Powercast anywhere podcasts can be found. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.